So let's start off with Romans, uh, excuse me, 1 Corinthians 12, and then we're going to look at verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Now, let's keep reading right here. Verse 15. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Now, look at verse 18. But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased them. Now, look at verse 22. This is the most encouraging part. So there are people out there who let's assume that they are bedridden, okay? Now, this is just my artwork, okay? So just do the best that we can right here. So let's say a person is bedridden, and this person who is bedridden, he is unable to do anything for the Lord Jesus Christ because the person is sick. So let's put it like this, you know, the poor person is burning up, probably sick. <laughs> but let's say the person right here is sick, and then the person wants to serve God, but he, he is unable. So whether you're sick, whether you're young, whether you're by yourself and you don't have a Bible-believing church nearby, I hope this video can encourage you. Now pay attention to the next verses that we're going to read. So far, you notice that 1 Corinthians 12, we're all one body. So let's put our church here. I'm going to put our church so that we can encourage you. I want you people online and even people in our church to know this. This ministry would, have not, would not have gotten the subscribers, would not have gotten the views, would, have not have, would not have gotten the soul saved, would not have gotten the tracts passed out, not have supported the missionaries who are ministering in the foreign countries, not only that, helping other Bible-believing churches and ministries around the world through our internet so that people can access them and go to their churches we would not have done it if it wasn't for you this is not all about gene kim you know why and this is not all about you either you know why so let's put me right here gene kim this is not about gene kim Amen. and this is not about you this is all about who jesus christ so think about this if Jesus Christ, he is the body, right? We read that, right? 1 Corinthians 12. I mean, don't believe a word that I'm saying. You read 1 Corinthians 12, right? 1 Corinthians 12 says me and you are what? In the body of Jesus Christ. So you see, that's why if this church accomplishes something, think about it. Is it all about this church? No, it's about Jesus. Amen. Now think about this. If, this, if we're all in sync here, then if this person contributes something in the body, what does it contribute? It contributes this one, and yes, you guys contribute to me as well. I want to encourage people out there. There were many times that this pastor is human flesh, and he could have fallen, and he could have given up. But you know what kept me going? And I will say this, as one of uh, my favorite preachers, Dr. Upman, had once said, I never understood it until now. And this will always be my statement to you. If there's anything that I have accomplished and survived and was able to bring in fruit, it was only by two things. It's because of the grace of God. Yeah. Amen. That's why one of my favorite theme songs is In Christ Alone, because it's all about Him. His grace, compared to all my trophies, is nothing. Amen. And then the second thing is the prayers of the saints. Right. Now I understand that more fully than ever. Pastor Kim would not exist today had it not been for the body of Christ, for the people out there who contributed with their prayers and everything that they've done. You truly contribute me, and I mean that. If anyone out there, I have been a blessing to them, that means so much to me. You in return have contributed to me. Because why? 
Why are we doing this with each other? Why are we doing this with each other? Hey, church, you know why you're blessed? This is why. Because somebody out there. Yeah. That's why you're blessed. Amen. Because somebody out there. That's why you're blessed. You know why? And maybe I've been a blessing to you too, right? But if I've been a blessing to you, you've been a blessing to me. You know why all this is in sync? Because it's all about what? Jesus. See? You're, Jesus. you're all... Amen. In one body, in Jesus' name, amen. amen, in Jesus' name. There we go, brother. So because of the body of Jesus Christ, see, we're all in it together. Because keep reading right here. This is encouraging. Verse 20, but now are they many members, praise the Lord, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Verse 22, nay much more, those members of the body which seem to be more feeble, 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 unable, unable, are what? Necessary. Necessary. I need every one of you. That's right. I really mean that. It should break your heart and grieve you that one person walks out the door of the church. It should grieve you that one subscriber is lost online. It should grieve you. Now, of course, we have to not be easily discouraged when people stray away from the truth, walk out of church or unsubscribe. No, we just have to press on for Jesus. That's the case. But the thing is you should still have a something in your heart where you don't want a single soul to slip. That's the thing. You don't want a single soul to slip. You know what grieves me the most? Not that, uh, not that my enemies have bigger subscribers than me. That's not what hurts me the most. What hurts me the most is that those enemies have hurt one of my subscribers online and hurt their souls. I told you what ticks your pastor off the most. You want to see your pastor get mad, really mad? It's not when you attack me. It's when you hurt a soul. That's right. And I really mean that. And that's why I will walk all over you. And I will use the hardest sarcasm and condemnation against you when you come to hurting souls. So the thing is this, is that that's why you got to realize this. We're all in it together. We're all in it together. You mean that much to me. As much as Jesus Christ means that much to me too, because we're all synced together in one body of Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so feeble. No, you're helping. All right, so here's the point right here. Okay, pastor, thank you for all that, but what can I do to help? One, you're watching me. You're attending our church. Thank you. Two, a word of encouragement. Thank you so much I got saved by watching this video. Thank you so much I switched to dispensationalism. Thank you so much I switched to the King James Bible. In one of our live streams that failed, it didn't work out, so that was discouraging. But then Brother Richard here, he was reading the comments for me. He said, well, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said this about, thank you so much, you know, I got into the King James Bible because of that. I got into dispensationalism because of that. That is encouraging. Amen. See, in the midst of failure, where, you know, it was discouraging, we couldn't go online. See, somebody out there encouraged me. Yeah. See, this is contributing. Another thing that's helping is your prayers. No matter how sick you are, your prayers are more powerful than all the money in the world, that's right. than all the talent in the world. Because if I prefer the power of the world, the power of money, the power of the Internet, what I would prefer is the power of God. Yeah. So pray to the Almighty and he will bring it to pass. So prayers, you can pray for me. Another thing, and I don't mean this uh, in a way where I'm trying to uh, grab people's money, but another thing is tithing. So I really appreciate the people who put in money in the offering plate. Think about it, we wouldn't have the room right here to fellowship in. We live in Silicon Valley, San Francisco Bay Area. You know how expensive that is? Do you know how much of a miracle it is that I didn't quit the ministry yet? Lord, I, there were times when we had three, years ago, long time ago, I had three people, and I was expecting the church to close. But because of the giving heart of the people, you know what? The church kept going, and not only that, we didn't even drop one missionary so all this time because of the faithful giving of the people. Look at that. See, the Lord never failed to provide. So then, thank you so much for people who keep asking me about offering. And I apologize if I didn't get back to you because I'm just so busy you know, with the church and catching up with the emails. But I really appreciate that you're trying to give. So we finally had a P.O. box set up, so people are mailing. Thank you. We had an online thing finally set up, so thank you for sending it. It is helping. People here in this church, 
I don't care. You get embarrassed dropping a $5 bill. I'm telling you something. The Lord honors that $5 bill mightily for His glory. We only had four people in church, and I was like, oh my goodness, how are we going to support this missionary? Long, long time ago. You know how the Lord blessed it in total at the end? He blessed it in total over $600 with just four people giving. So here's the thing, is that there are people who get afraid. There are people who get afraid, I give so little money. Don't worry, the Lord's going to send somebody else or some kind of circumstance to make up for it. Amen. He turns it to gold. He turns it to gold. Look, $1, $5 is just green paper. That's all it is. What you need is God's riches. You need Him to provide. So your giving to the Lord is very helpful. Your encouraging is helpful. Your prayers are helpful. Your attendance, you watching us, is helpful. And the fifth thing, the biggest thing that you can do, you may be unable on a lot of things, but you can find something that you could do. So pray to the Lord for wisdom. That's the most important point I want people to listen to. Pray to the Lord for wisdom. Lord, what can I do that not even Pastor Kim can do? that I can contribute to the body of Christ. No, I don't believe it, preacher. Yes, you can. No, I don't believe it, preacher. You want me to give you proof? Some person all the way in the middle of Norway somewhere who's probably watching us online and who's bedridden. And I don't know if I am. This is just random. I don't know if I'm speaking to anyone out there who is one of them. But if there is, if the Lord is guiding that and there is someone out there who's bedridden in the middle of Norway, can Pastor Kim reach the nursery worker, the nurse who's assisting you and taking care of your health, can Pastor Kim win that person to Christ? No, but you can. You can reach that person. There is something you can do that Pastor Kim is unable to do. You know why? Because it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, use your head and get to work. Let's do something for Jesus Christ. Let's do something together for Jesus Christ. One more thing I want to add is this. Please buy chick tracks. Buy chick tracks. These are simple comic tracks. You're not a good soul winner. You're not even a good witness. All you have to do is leave it behind. Yeah. You're in the hospital. Just have a colorful collection of chick tracks. Put them by your bed. Trust me, when somebody passes by you, they're going to ask you about it. Yeah. And that will be an open door. And that chick track will do all the work in giving the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We're all one body. Let's get to work. Amen.